Sustainability. Defining sustainability. To understand the importance of sustainability in the context of development, in our effort to eradicate extreme poverty through projects run overseas, it is first useful to define sustainability and break down its meaning. Sustainability can be defined as follows. Meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. This consideration of future generations includes economic, social and environmental factors. The benefits and impact of a sustainable development project will continue and extend to further beneficiaries after the project's end. Such projects will not require further funding, will use locally sourced resources and leverage the knowledge and expertise of the local community. Sustainable development is an international priority. This has been recognised through the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. The Sustainable Development Goals are a collection of 17 interlinked goals designed to be a blueprint to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all. The Sustainable Development Goals were set in 2015 by the United Nations General Assembly and are intended to be achieved by the year 2030. Long-term change. A key consideration of sustainability is all about long-term change. Let's take a look at education. A great example because it is in itself sustainable. You can't take an education away from someone and having knowledge often encourages them to educate others, including their children. One of the specific targets within the education section of the Sustainable Development Goals is as follows. By 2030, substantially increase the supply of qualified teachers, including through international cooperation for teacher training in developing countries, especially least developed countries and small island developing states. This specific target aims to increase the supply of qualified teachers. So, the question is, how can we achieve this sustainably and create long-term change? One might argue that in order to increase the supply of qualified teachers, we could perhaps set up a programme where we have a pool of experienced, volunteer teachers from the UK who are sent to a developing country on a rotational basis. However, this will not create long-term change and is not a sustainable solution. Constantly changing teachers is not good for long-term stability in education. This proposed solution is making a big assumption that these teachers will provide quality education to children whose first language they don't speak, culture they don't understand, and curriculum they don't really know. For this to be helpful at all would require a significant amount of training for each group of teachers who are sent over. Additionally, this doesn't help long term because these volunteer teachers will eventually return to the UK, leaving the school students in the same position they were to begin with. Sustainability means enabling the problem to be solved by and in the community and tackling the root of the problem, not simply putting a temporary plaster on the symptom. Using locally sourced resources. Having a positive, sustainable impact partly comes down to the use of locally sourced resources. So, in order to increase the supply of qualified teachers, why don't we consider a project where a group of current teachers within the community train other local people to become teachers? Once they have qualified, they are then put in charge of training another class of people to become teachers, and so on. This project uses local people to teach their own community, whilst increasing the supply of qualified teachers exponentially. With no reliance on external resources, for example temporary volunteer teachers from the UK, we can begin creating long-term sustainable change due to the simple fact that local people are less likely to move away from their own community. However, it is important to consider the real and practical challenges individuals may face in these areas, discouraging them from training to become a teacher. For example, 
Are they traveling from villages far away where there is a lack of transport due to poor infrastructure? Is the pay for teachers too low? Are women given less opportunities to become teachers due to inequality? Training local people to become teachers may seem like a sustainable solution to increase the supply of qualified teachers. But alongside this, many additional interventions are needed to remove these barriers before we can create true, long-term, sustainable change. Environmental Sustainability When acting with an aim to establish long-term change, it is also important to consider the environmental impact our actions have. The year 2019 was the second warmest on record and the end of the warmest decade, bringing with it massive wildfires, hurricanes, droughts, floods and other climate disasters across continents. Global temperatures are on track to rise as much as 3.2 degrees Celsius by the end of the century, which would have catastrophic effects on humanity at large, but particularly those in the global south. Many of these countries have weak infrastructure, such as poor roads and pavements, and are therefore more sensitive to adverse weather conditions. Moreover, agriculture forms a significant part of their economies and are often reliant on certain weather conditions. A significant challenge for development programs is to ensure they are environmentally sustainable and resilient to the potential impact of climate change whilst enabling solutions to some of the problems. An environmentally sustainable project will therefore ensure the impact can actually last and is not undermined by climate disasters or running out of resources. It is important to remember that the so-called developed countries got to where they are through intensive industrial revolutions, which caused many of the environmental problems we face today. Whilst development programs in industry bring many great benefits, we still need to acknowledge the need to protect the climate, so we must work with these countries to find and enact environmentally sustainable means of growing their economies and markets. We are in a critical period to advance a shared vision and accelerate responses to the world's gravest challenges. From eliminating poverty and hunger, to increasing access to quality education. In your task for Young Social Enterprise, it is therefore important to consider different strategies to create long-term, sustainable change. <laughs>